Remembering this information is then really useful for when you have to halve numbers or divide by 2. If you're asked to halve 24, we can see that it's double 12, so when you halve 24, it will be 12. But it's also useful to see that if you halve the ones, so half of 4 is 2, and then if you halve the tens, half of 2 is 1. The same with, for example, 48. So if we were to halve 48, you can see that half of 48 is 24. And that's quite easy to do because half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 is 2. But then you might get one such as half of 52. And it's useful there to remember the pattern. The clue here, the digit showing the tens is an odd number, it's five. If you have an odd digit in the tens column and a two in the ones column, when you halve it, your answer is going to have a six in the ones column. So half of 52, that will help you to work out that it's 26 and not something with a one in the ones column. Another example similar to that would be 74. Many children, when they're asked to halve a number such as 74, will say, oh, there's a 4 in the 1s column, so it's got to be something with a 2 in the 1s column if I halve it. But because the 10 is a 7, which is an odd digit, it helps to remember that that means that your unit won't be a 2, it will be a 7. And although you might not remember straight away that it's 37, you're already part of the way there. We'll practice just a few of these, where the tens is an odd digit. Half of 38, you might be tempted to think, because there's an 8 in the ones, half of that number will have a 4 in the ones. But because the tens digit is an odd number, we have to think again. If you say to yourself, there's an 8 in the ones and the tens digit is odd, so I need to think what's half of 18, not what's half of 8. Half of 18, that's 9. So my number, half of 38, is going to have a 9 in the 1s. If I remember that half of 30 is 15, then half of 38 must be 19. Let's try another one. 56. Remember, because this tens digit is odd, we can't assume that there's a 6 in the 1s, so it'll have a 3 in the 1s when we halve it. We have to think to ourselves, not what is half of 6, but what is half of 16, and that's 8. So half of 56 is going to have an 8 in the 1s, and if you remember that half of 50 is 25, that'll help you to work out that half of 56 is 28. Let's try another one. 72. We can't say that the 1s will be half of 2 because the 10s digit is odd. So we have to ask ourselves, what's half of 12? And that's 6. Half of 72 is going to have a 6 in the 1s column. And if you remember that half of 70 is 35, that'll help you to work out that half of 72 is 36. One last one to try. Half of 94. The ones isn't going to be half of 4 because the tens digit is odd. So we ask ourselves, what's half of 14? Half of 14 is 7. So half of 94 will have a 7 in the ones column. If you remember that half of 90 is 45, that helps you to work out that half of 94 is 47.